Steve, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's the first time stopping by the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it, trust me. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, welcome back. Well, guys, uh, before I get into this video about uh, Caroline Allison and uh, Gary Wang, I want to talk a little bit about Sam Bankman Freed. This morning, he was extradited to New York, and he has recently uh, just been released on bond, $250 million. Part of his stipulation is he has to live with his parents in Northern California, who, in fact, had to put their house up as some of the collateral to get him out to pay that $250 million bond. He has to wear an ankle monitor, can't go anywhere, he's restricted, and he has to surrender his passport. So far, that's what we know. Now, whether he pleaded guilty or not, you know what his plea was before he was released on bond? Nobody knows yet. That'll come out at a later date. But uh, I wanted to just say that real quick. Now, going into this story, we have uh, Caroline Allison. A lot of people know her as uh, she was the chief executive of Alameda Research. And some people say she was Sam Bateman Freed's ex-girlfriend. I don't know for sure, so I'm going to leave that alone. But, um... Caroline uh, Allison, Ellison, Gary Wang, he's another person. Now, Gary Wang, I didn't know, was the co-founder of FTX. So he was like, he founded FTX with Sam Minkman Free. He's the uh, chief technology officer and the co-founder of FT FTX. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that's funny is they pled guilty to charges. Now, this happened yesterday. I wanted to look around and see if everything was true before I made this video, and it is. They pled guilty. Caroline uh, pled guilty to seven crimes, uh, some of which are wire fraud, securities fraud, and commodities fraud. Three of the seven. Now, the other ones, it hasn't came out of what she, what she pled guilty to. And uh, Mr. Wang, Gary Wang, he pled to four crimes. Now, the reason why I bring this up is... For them, they, they already said they fully cooperate. So that turns the tides of Sam Bankman Free. And I was thinking a couple of days ago when they were talking about, oh, he was going to agree to the extradition. Then he was going to, uh, something came up where he said he didn't want to come. And I'm like, he makes more sense if he comes over here and tries to fight the case because a lot of these people are probably over here. Because I don't think all of them stayed in the Bahamas full time, you know. And when all this stuff hit the fan, a lot of people have a tendency to run off. So I was thinking, I was like, you know, you better be the first one to talk, especially in the Fed instigation, I mean investigation. You better say your side of the story first. I think he waited a little too long. Both of these people, Miss Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang, are in serious trouble. Regardless if they take a deal and cooperate or, or tell or whatever, but they already said they cooperate, so they're going to tell, you know, which was going to happen anyway. You know, they was out there living fancy free with this money and all this stuff. There's bound to be consequences. Nobody was thinking rationally. Supposedly, Gary Wang was the one who was writing the code to where they can send the money from Alameda to uh, FTX and back and forth without it being like a uh, court or whatever. So he's part of that. He's a big part of it. And he's the co-founder of FTX. He's going to get smoked. Caroline Ellison ain't out of the fire neither. She got seven charges. Gary Wayne got four. Now I'm going to read something to you real quick. Check this out. It says, the parts they played. Now it says, <clears throat> Wayne developed the software code that allowed Alameda to secretly access billions of dollars in FTX customer funds, which is forbidden. Ellison knowingly used FTX customers funds for Alameda's trading activity, among other things. I lost my place. All along, Bankman Free and Allison told investors that this crypto trading firm had no special privileges on the FTX exchange. Both, but in fact, Alameda had access to FTX customer funds, the ability to draw down on a virtually unlimited line of credit and an exceptional, and with an exception to maintain a negative balance in its FTX account. 
These privileges did not apply to any other FTX customer. So basically, and it says like this, Wang and Ellison admitted to knowing about and facilitating this close relationship between the firms, which was at odds with what Bankman Free presented to the public and his investors. They just as bad as he is. He wrote the code to, to secretly do that shit and she knew about it and was with it. I think when they got to them, when they went and got legal help and they explained everything to their lawyers, the lawyers like, yo, y'all screwed just like this man and y'all just as guilty. So I think they cooperated because they don't want to get the same fate that he, that uh, is coming up with him. Now, granted, most of these people probably don't have criminal records, so the sentence ain't going to be as severe, but... <clears throat> Somebody going to take the fall. I think it's going to be Sam Bankman free. Gary Wayne is going to be a close second. Caroline Ellison, she's going to be a third. Even though she got more crimes, they're going to mark some of them crimes down. And she's going to escape with the lightest sentence. And that's just my opinion. And I'll be watching to see. Because if so, I'm going to make another video about it. But I think it's going to be time-wise. Uh, Sam Bankman free Gary Wayne, Caroline Ellison. All of them wrong. You know, no matter if Sam Bankman Free was doing the most shiesty stuff, you know, which is yet to be realized. But for them to go and run real quick, <clears throat> you know, they got a serious, serious hand in all this involvement in this thing. And uh, we'll see. I mean, they pled guilty already. So for Sam, it's kind of messed up because now, you know, they're, they're coming clean and talking while he's on the sideline, just got released, you don't know what they're saying about you. You don't know what kind of case is being built. I mean, for the feds to come and get you and pull them in before you come over here, you playing uh, double dutch going back and forth of whether you're going to come to the States or not, and they reaching out to these people, and there's other people too. They said it's supposed to be, uh, what, seven more people they still, they going after, six or seven more people. And they tell them, listen, if you know anything, you know, you better come to us before we we come to you because we ain't waiting that long. You know, they said it's just like that. We're not waiting. We, we're not going to wait because when we do come get you, it's going to be too late. So you better turn yourselves in now. I think they fell victim to that. You know, the pressure the pressure is on. You know, Caroline's folks probably like, girl, you better go in there. You know what I'm saying? And Gary Wang, he like, I just don't want no trouble. I'm trying to just get this over with. Got to face the music. Now, is it wrong that they tell him? And should they say receive the same fate as him? Yeah, because you knew. And for a long time, this was going on, and y'all was taking advantage of it. So I don't want to hear nothing about you cooperating or not. You know? But, I mean, that's just my opinion. But, yeah, as of now, they agreed to cooperate the feds. Tell. And uh, we'll see how this goes. But I, I will say this. I think <clears throat> Kevin O'Leary was right when he said the feds is tired of this, the government's tired of this. And they trying to get this thing over as quick as possible because it just, you know, it's just a bad look. But anyway, I'm Stock Market Steve. Hey, guys, if you could, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me how much time you think these people are going to get. You know, tell me if you think they're guilty, just as guilty as uh, SBF. Because I think all three of them are in the same boat. I don't care if they're cooperating or not. You know, they all went along with it. All got caught. And just because you run in there and tell first don't give, mean you get special privilege. But um, as always, guys, I'm Steve. Remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you spending time with me as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.